0007, turn right, heading 185, reduce speed 182 or not. 185 on the heading 180 on the speed go fair 007. Speed at 124, reduce speed 160 or not to 40 or me. 160 to 4, speed 124. Hello there guys, Matt here, hope you're all well, and welcome to Terminal 5 Bravo at London Heathrow. A uh, little bit of a kind of, well it's not a fictional flight today, but it is a fictional aircraft type sadly, because we do not have the ER version of this, we only have the LR version uh, being the 777-200 LR in the British Airways livery. Uh, I'm doing today Speedbird 6 Niner Victor from uh, London over to Philadelphia and uh, again this is another requested video from everybody sadly uh, they don't take anything that I have aircraft wise so the real one takes uh, either the 787 which again we don't have for, uh, for P3D or X-Plane for that matter um, American take an A330 I could use a black box probably not such a great idea for long haul because it seems to just crash and then of course Delta will take the 757s but I don't have a 757 that's capable of the complexity of doing long haul, especially transatlantic. So I'm kind of stuck with this, I've got to improvise a little bit. We're using the LR with the British Airways virtual repaint that PMDG supply, uh, because no one has done uh, another fictional repaint for this as far as I am aware. So we're on VATSIM, you can see uh, this is an, a friend of mine, ironically called Matt, he's also flying with us. He's flying a 6-7 Victor I think, and I'm 6-9 Victor. And then you've got some random British Airways Airbus over there in the Dove colours, which uh, looks pretty cool. So, flight time today is about, let's see, what is it, 9, no it's not 9 hours, 7 hours and 40 odd minutes, 7 hours, sorry, 7, 7 hours 23 minutes to be exact. Zero fuel weight, 190 tonnes, so that's what, I don't know, 20 tonnes under max zero fuel weight, we're not exactly too heavy. We're taking 57 tons of fuel, that gives us enough uh, flying time for just uh, under 9 hours, so we've got plenty on the way. Sadly, it's an east, uh, sorry, westbound route, so anything going westbound over the Atlantic, you'll always be faced with a headwind, so we're not going to get any nice tailwinds cruising us over to, uh, to Philadelphia. The routing is a little bit further north than normal, um, because of the, the winds over the Atlantic today quite strong, so we'll be routing out of here. Uh, we'll be heading out on the, the Woven departure, which takes us north of, of here, up through uh, over the top of Manchester and out through over Northern Ireland way, and then over the, the Atlantic, just south of Greenland, and then in over Newfoundland way, down through uh, Boston and, and towards JFK, and then down towards Philly. Uh, that's really about it. Cruising initially 360, stepping eventually to, I think we're going as high as 400? Yeah eventually 400 but uh, that's a bit further down the way so I've loaded everything in bags are on people are on food is just about done and uh, yeah let's let's get this show on the road it should be good fun just under eight hours of flying here we come okay so here she is with the panel state loaded very nice indeed first things first I guess we'll just go straight into it a D I R U to on. We'll arm the emergency lights and close the guard. Uh, nav lights already on. We'll put put the logo light on. It's a bit dark outside. We're still actually we've already refueled, so we can turn on the seatbelt signs like so. What else can we do? We're on ground power. APU's off at the moment, so that's fine. Switch the packs on. Everything's sort of moonlit as far as we can get it to be. Come down here. Checklist. We'll reset all those. So resets and reset all and then we'll head back to the normal menu and bang the pre-flight out, RTO for the auto brake and there we go. So oxygen again, uh, I don't bother with that but yeah you can test it if you want. Flight instruments, uh, well can't really do that at the moment because the IRSs are still doing something so we'll just sort that out first. So FMC, pause in it and we'll take the GPS position like so and then we are requesting the company route Heathrow to Philly 01 and the IRS is aligned so flight instruments can now be checked heading 091 091 
3018 needs to be changed to uh, hectopascal, like so. So that's 1022, 100 feet, 1022, 100 feet. Good stuff. Flight instruments and the parking brake, of course, is now set. Right. The route 1 uplink is ready. So we can load that in. Like so. And we are taking 27 right for departure. So we'll uh, stick that in just to, to confirm that that's what we're doing. And we're also speedbird 69 Victor. Group 7 right. Here we go. As I said, departing 27 right Woburn 3 Foxtrot, which is there. We can activate that. And then we can just check on the route page that, uh, or page 2 even, Woburn 3 Foxtrot. Uh, Buzzard, I'm just going to close the gap here because it's a bit wrong, it's just woven direct well then, there we go. Buzzards if you're off the other runway. Okay, so, VNAV 6K is in there for the transition altitude. And we are stepping, let's have a look at the step climb. So, departing from here, 360 as far as GOMUP. And then at GOMUP we are going actually we'll do the init ref page first let's just request that so we have the proper altitudes so what happens when you fly varying aircraft all the time your flows are so incorrect one day airbus the next day dash 8 the next day i don't know cherokee the next day comanche the next day cessnas it's crazy man it's crazy it's fun but crazy right let's accept that so uh, 190 is good 57 is good 6.9 is fine, 360, step size 0, and thrust limb, we don't really care about that just yet, let me just put the uh, the steps in, so 370 GOMUP, which is here, so 370S, like so, and then 380 at 40 west, which is here, so 380S again, and then 3, uh, sorry, 400 at Yankee Delta, uh, Papa, that one there. So 400 S in there. Activate that. Root data, we can grab one of the earlier legs. So let's go for top of climb, which apparently today is at TC. Uh, Elvos, so find Elvos, there we go, and then overhead Elvos, we have winds at flight level 320, 340, 360, and 380, and over Elvos, we will be at flight level 360, and the temperature will be minus 56. 66, not 65. There we go. Done. Now we can go back to root data and we re we can request all of those wins in like that. Uh, check some of the EFIS stuff. So we'll stick the needles up. We'll push the traffic in. We'll take data and weather on this side eventually. Same for this side. Apart from the fact we'll take terrain, data and terrain like so. Good stuff. Now uh, we can load those wins in. We'll uh, run the checklist to the other screen before start. There we go. And we can also execute that. And then we can go to the VNAV descent page and just load those in for now. We can always update, uh, update them even a little bit further down the way. So they're all in now. So there we go. Ten tons we're landing with without the arrival in. Uh, yeah, I'm actually quite happy with that. Anyway, thrust limit. Today is 55 degrees, that's flat 5, noise abatement, we need max climb power here sadly, so flat 5, CG set there, like so, uh, the takeoff gross weight apparently is 100, sorry, 246, like so, next page, we could put the weather stuff in, that's not what I want to do. I just want to make sure that everything's set at a thousand feet, which it is. So we'll take those speeds. So 157 MCP. We can set that there. 157, if you'll let me. Good. 
heading of 271. And the block altitude, which is 6,000 feet. Left flight director, right flight director, LNAV and VNAV armed. And that is us pretty much set up. I'll leave the legs page on the other side. Takeoff page can stay on this side. Everything is looking quite well. Okay, so just got GSX to uh, get us underway. Just need to set some radios. 122.8 for VATSIM. There's no ATC on at the moment. So we'll switch that. 2000 on the transponder. And we'll stick that to... Uh, let's go TA only. We don't need anything else from that. Standby stuff's good. Ground connections. Well, we need to start the APU. That would be a good start. So fuel pumps, even though you don't strictly need them to fire the APU up. And then we'll turn that to start. Everything else for now is good until the APU is fired up. So we'll go back here and we'll do the before start checklist. So flight deck door is not modelled. So we'll just say that's closed and locked. The seatbelt signs are coming on as we speak. Let me just put that view down there. There we go. MCP set, takeoff speed set. CDU pre flight is completed. Trim is zero. Taxi and takeoff briefing. Well, the joys of flying alone. We don't need to. And of course, the beacon light can come on as we are now ready to move. Uh, that's that done. So we can recall the checklist back when we need it. For now, we'll go onto the engine page. We'll just wait for the APU to come online, which we can check. Uh, you see it's spooling up here, 50%-ish on its way up. Shouldn't take too long. And then we can get out of here. So, you know, if I forgot anything, the checklists are all done, which means I can't really have forgotten anything, but there we go. 98, 99, almost. You can do it. There we go. APU's on. Sweet. Right, just a quick look at the door page, just to check that everything is closed and locked. Which it is, apart from two left, needs to be armed. So, we'll just arm two left, like that. We'll go back to there. And ground connections, we can remove everything once uh, everything is verified, which it is. We can turn off the external power now. We don't need that. And we can start to pressurize the hydraulics, back to the engine page even, there we go, that's all good, we can clear those memos for now, and we are ready to push back, we'll remove all the chocks, everything is there, and then GSX will connect itself, that's pressurised, so we'll pressurise the left one, wait for the fault light, There we go. And two other ones. Perfect. Okay. We are ready to go. I wonder if he is. Looks nice. Right, so GSX is ready. I'm ready. Parking brakes released. And we will start the first officer's clock. And we can start the engines on the push. So we'll start number two. Uh, pushing nose left. Are you going to push at the same time? Go ahead in front of me and then I'll push, so I'll be behind you. Uh, I'm just going to see, is there a link in the... If there's a link in between, no, there's not. I was going to say we could push facing each other and then just take the links, but it doesn't matter. That's that was a pretty ridiculous idea. <laughs> Wouldn't that have been nice? Oh, yes. Okay, so two's up, and we can fire up uh, one. What's your uh, V speeds like? Once. 60s, I get you exactly. 
Oh, I just want to know what your V2 is. V2 is 161. Oh, 157 here, so... You must be a bit nice. heavier than me. Yeah, I got 212 people on board. We've got the only time in life someone's heavier than me, so rip. Switch the weather radar on now. Uh, we'll turn it to. I don't know what we'll turn it to. One, two, three, three, four. Wait, what? I want to tilt it. Oh, okay. Weather. Done. Sweet. Okay, so engines are up. We'll go to the flight control page. We'll trim it for three units. <laughs> That's uh, not much trim. Three units set. And we can do. Oh, look at that! That's a bit of an erroneous turn. Oh well. Parking brake set. And now we can do the flight control check. So full left. All right, all the way back, all the way forwards, rudder all the way left, and rudder all the way right, flap five, and we can go over the overhead and turn the APU off. We are done with that. We'll do our main bit of the flight. I think I've got some sort of storm lighting on it. It feels very, very bright in here. Maybe it's not, I don't know. Okay, cool. Back to the checklist. So, anti ice not required. Recall checked. Nothing to note. Flight controls checked. Ground equipment is clear. And that's the before takeoff checklist there waiting for us. So, 1228 set. One uh, transponder's good. Waiting for GSX to clear off out the way. And then we will be good to go. Taxi and turn off. It's clear. Right, it's clear. I'm just waiting for GSX to move and then uh, I'll be able to taxi. Yep, that's fine. Just chilling out. I don't know why it takes so long. Like in real life, I mean, you push planes back before, so do you spend yeah. an hour waiting at the front of the aircraft waving at them? No. <laughs> you just get the chocks out and you dip You just get the. You release bypass pin, then you just push back and say see you later. Or well, yeah, you push and then you away. just walk away as quickly as you can. Right, yeah. They need to speed that animation up then because it literally. You don't want to be anywhere near there. Well, from the pushback, from the tug, yeah, from it disappearing yeah. from you, it takes a good three or four minutes for the actual guy to disappear. And then if you, no, you get release your parking brake at that point, it goes, oh, please set your parking brake. Yeah. The joys of GSX. I wish they'd make virtual passengers. That would be so cool. You I know. know. Like when you use the air stairs, not the air stairs, the, the the manual stairs, the ones that you push up to the side of the plane. Imagine if people just walked on and off that. That would be so cool. That'd be amazing. It looks like you're going. Yeah, so I'm just going to go straight down here and then cross onto Alpha and then just go all the way to 27 right. If I wasn't so afraid of copyright, right about now I'd just stick someone's British Airways YouTube video safety demonstration over the top of it. Oh. It sound MLG. But I can't because I just get nailed by people going, oh, that's my video. Make your own flight attendant announcement. Um, you know, I actually know a few flight attendants, or cabin crew as we <laughs> call them. I, w I bet you I could get one of them to do it for me. You should. That would be an interesting dynamic every single video. Oh, hey, can you do an announcement for this flight? Hey, can you do one for this flight? <laughs> <laughs> this, I'm just passing a, a holding point called Dingo. Nice. I swear that's like an Australian kangaroo. It's like what they call them, dingoes. <laughs> Maybe I'm completely wrong. I 
I feel dirty flying the MR instead of the. Uh... I know. It doesn't feel. But it, you have no choice. Oh, I know. Unless but... you merged it with some freeware project, Open Sky. Yeah, but even then, the the performance would be way off. Yeah. Cabin ready. The cabin is being efficient today. Make a change. Okay, so approaching Alpha 3, ready to go, a 2-7 right he throw, so we'll start the clock. The other way, there we go. Now we'll hit the lights, and the strobes, and we'll do the before takeoff checklist, which is already done, so that's the after takeoff checklist. And we'll turn the transponder on, TARA, everything is set. Nothing on the, oh wait, 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 wait. I was just about to say, nothing on the approach. <laughs> that was close. There is something on the approach. Yo, Miller. Yo. I, I was doing my, you know, like, checking everything, transponder, etc, etc. And I just mm -hmm. went to say, clear on the approach. And I looked up, and there's an aircraft, like, half a <laughs> mile final. And they <laughs> almost rolled onto the runway in front of him. Who is it? Uh, it is a... Hang on. It's Pakistan a... Yeah, it's wow. a 777... Is it Pakistan? Oh, yeah, yeah, it is Pakistan. Wow, okay, fair enough. That was almost rare. <laughs> that was very, very... That is a good job that that like, flow is in my head. You know, approach path clear. No, it's not. <laughs> I'd already passed the stop bar <laughs> by a little bit. No, that's fine. But it's... I'm not on the runway. There he goes. Look at that. Is he going to grease it? Uh, uh, uh. Oh, we did, dude. He greased it. Nice. That was really cool. I'm glad I caught that. Are you taxiing yet? Yeah, I'm actually almost at 27, right? What, are you behind me? No, I'm still pretty far off, but... Oh, well, I'll wait for this Pakistan to clear. And then I'm off. Yeah, you'll see me taxiing as, I, as you go by. I've never hit the brakes as hard in my life, dude. <laughs> that was just like, oh no, it's not clear. Bang! <laughs> Everyone in the plane would have felt that then. Wow, that looks so nice. Yeah, dude, you should see that this VR right in front of me. I see the guy vacating, all the lights on, the control tower. It's just... Uh, it doesn't matter that I'm getting 20 frames. I can deal with that. <laughs> right, he's vacated. I'm going. See you in Philly! See you there! Toga! Ninety point four per cent power set, eighty knots. Size like a boss. Set to our lights. V1, rotate. Boss to right, gear up. Look at that. You. <laughs> okay, speed intervene. We'll just do, I don't know, 190, I guess. 
Elnav and Vinav is doing its thing. Small bank to the right to follow the woven three fox trot. Look at the skyline. So nice. So, so nice. Right, well, we can start to clean up here. So we'll go flat one. So we'll flap up. We'll set 360 to climb to. Hit the middle of it a bunch of times. Pull the pilot in. And we are going to go direct to Wellin, I think. Yeah, Wellin will go direct to. Square that departure off. There's no ATC, so it doesn't matter. We're passing transition level soon or altitude. Zoom that out, weather's on, push the button in, spin the heading to the right. And there she is, London at night. time is it? I don't know, but 6 hours and 39 minutes into the flight, we are just under, or just, yeah, 230 miles left to run until Philadelphia. We're at flight level 400 at the moment, we stepped all the way through, and uh, I guess now is the time to program the descent and the arrival, etc, etc, etc. So, flight plan tells us we are on the Slat 4, which is somewhere around here, but first of all, uh, we'll be landing on runway 27 right, and uh, I might do an R nav actually. I don't know if 27 right, maybe. Or should we just go? Yeah, we'll do R nav 27 right. So R nav 27 right, slat 4. And is there any transition? No. We're in through Albany and then Lima Victor Zulu, so there's no transition. Uh, NZU is the uh, R nav point see that all there. So that's all in the VNAV page. While well, we can re-uplink the descent winds, like so. And then we can go from there. Actually, I don't know if it works. I did, I did re-request the descent winds, but I don't know if it's going to do them. It might say there's an error. If it doesn't, then we're good. Uh, as I said, 2-7 right. So, trusty charts. The, uh, on the other screen. Actually, it's on my laptop. There we go. Descent ready. So we can load those in. And uh, away we go. Not changed. So they've either not updated correctly or whatever. It doesn't really matter. They're only fractionally different. Okay, so uh, let's have a look. 27 right being our arrival runway. On our 27 right. Minimums today. 520 feet. So, we can set that on the Barrow up here. Uh, there it is. That's uh, radio, so we can go back to Barrow. And we can attempt to change it. Which I guess is with a right click. There we go. And it was a 520. Did I say 520? Yeah, I did. So it was a 570 for a minute then. 4, 3, 520. Perfect. What else is there to look at? 
We're parking on Alpha 16 apparently, that's where they park at Philly. Um, so Alpha 16, well it doesn't really matter about where we uh, park, it's more about the length of runway we have once we touch down. But 27 right means that we can vacate. Is there any rapid exits? Oh yeah, there's quite a lot. Okay, so we can probably vacate on Kilo 4. Yeah, Kilo 4 looks good. And then the Alpha Terminal is pretty much dead ahead. So Kilo 4 or Kilo 5. So low, low water brake setting is fine. Um, in at ref, our landing weight or our landing gross weight is uh, 200... Uh, sorry, 197. 197.7. And we'll take black 25 for that. And that mixed with auto brake, we'll do two just to be on the safe side. We'll get us off at either Alpha 4 or Alpha, uh, sorry, Kilo 4 or Kilo 5. So that's everything set up for the descent. As far as I'm aware, I'll put the legs on that side. 8.8 .8 tons to land with, that's perfect. The sun is just rising. And uh, we are in a good fashion land. Check I've got everything set, which I have. Okay. Let the race home begin. So, we're just approaching Spuds, we're on the heading select at the moment, 
Paddy 135, 2,000 feet a minute descent rate, down to 3,500 feet. Our aiming point is to start the RNAV at um, a place called Enzu. Enzu. And we have to be there at 3,500 feet, so that's our collective goal is to, uh, is to make it there on time. For some reason, my easy dock is. Uh, set itself so let's just go with there it's about middle um and the my friend just said the guy that's flying with me matt is um i really can call matt he said that if we fly towards uh the north side we'll actually see the uh the city so i'm going to turn right and fly a little bit closer and see if we can see the city because apparently the city is modeled this is the sun sky jet scenery, I think. Um, so, and it's freeware as well, freeware scenery. Apparently, it's very, very good. I've never used it before, but we'll uh, we'll see. Seatbelts are on, no lights at the moment. So of course, we don't need them just yet. Uh, we can run the descent checklist. So recall is checked. No, it's okay. Water brake is set. Oops. Uh, Water brake set. Landing data is all set. And approach briefing is completed. Our nav approach from 27, and as well, we can do the approach checklist because we passed transition level. So that's just a landing checklist again. Very good. Okay, cool. It's a bit laggy coming through these clouds. I don't know why. Hopefully, that will go away. Fingers crossed. Yeah, it seems to have cleared up a little bit now. Nice. There we go. So let's zoom in. And we'll see. So there's 20 miles to go until we hit the airfield. So we'll just continue in this direction, I suppose. Give it a bit of a speed break, a bit of helping hand with the speed. Because uh, at the moment it's struggling. We'll decrease that VS as well to help it a bit. There we go, good. Altima is set to 904, both sides. The weather down on the ground at Philly is, well, it's beautiful. Uh, 160 at 3. 10 statue miles visibility broken at one uh, 10,000 21 degrees 21 degrees at this time of the morning that's pretty damn impressive uh, 2994 that's it I don't understand what the rest of the metal says because the metals in America seem to have a weird logic to them but yeah one day I'll learn that uh, so yeah all is good stick the lights on, turn offs and the logo and we'll stick the left and the right, we'll turn the nose light on once we're on final. Apparently there's some sort of stadiums modelled as well. <laughs> you can see the lights just can't decide if they need to be on or off depending on the time of day. Um, yeah, apparently there's some stadiums modelled and all that so I guess that's something to look forward to. Hopefully, I don't know, depends if we see anything. Bring the range in on that second display with the first officer's ND. We still have apparently 40 miles to run, so we'll, uh, we'll get rid of that speed brake now and we'll just decrease the vertical speed. And we'll keep an eye out for the city. Okay, so I think this is the start of the scenery here. I don't think that's Orbex, it's a bit too non generic to be Orbex, so um, yeah. Visibility is a little bit on the terrible side. I was hoping it would be a little bit better. We can't fly over there because obviously we need to go this way and kind of round this way to uh, towards the Arna. So uh, we will, uh, let's see, what am I willing to do? Okay, let's swing it east, we'll swing it east, 090. And uh, we will, yeah, we'll swing it east, we'll fly parallel, we'll turn, we'll establish, and then hopefully, if the mist clears, it's that stupid early morning sort of misty June type thing, it's like, yeah, I meant, when I said that, that sounded like I said Jew, I said like Jewish, I mean, Dew, D-E-W, yeah, whatever. Um, so, yeah, we'll do that. Anyway, I'm going to start reducing the speed, we'll do 220 knots, like that, and that'll start to come back nicely. Profile down to 3,000 feet. The RNAV does start at Enzu, which is there, but you're actually descending just after Martin, I guess. 
at 3,000 feet. So we can profile down to that with no problem. Water looks nice, doesn't it? Wow, look at that. It's really nice. I can't remember how you set up the autopilot for Alnav approaches. I think you just press or leave it in Alnav and Vnav mode. I don't think there's any other thing you need to do. But it's all set up, so let's have a look. So 240, 240. Yeah, I'm going to stick a restriction of speed in somewhere here. So we'll do 180 there. And then that should start to slow us down a little bit. Yeah, 201, 220 and two. Good job. Okay. So uh, we'll swing it right here to about 120 and then we'll kind of arc our way around. As long as I don't cut it too fine, we'll be okay. Nice morning in Philly. I can't remember if I wed, wed, whoops, Jonathan Ross moment. I can't remember if I read the weather out before, but if I didn't, it's extremely nice. Uh, let me just get the updated one, just to double check. The weather is as follows. 1603, 10 statue miles, 21 degrees, 294. Perfect. Okay, so there's Enzu. We're on a nice intercepting angle from here, so we can go direct to Enzu and uh, we'll swing it round with the heading. Let's see, we'll do 220. I'm trying to use a bank limit there. There we go, done. And with that, we'll also take flap one. is good. We'll direct to Enzu again. Uh, this is just trying to calculate everything and doing a very bad job at it. And then we'll start to slow that to flat one speed, like so. Bring out the speed brakes a little bit. We can decrease the rate of descent to about 400 feet a minute. I'll do. So we can go direct to Enzu now and not complain. Uh, kind of. I'll now. 266 is the inbound heading for the runway. We'll just stick that in the MCP to back ourselves up. The missed approach altitude is 3,000 feet, so that's there. Bring the speed brakes back in. I'm inclined to go direct to Martin now, actually. Let's do that. Direct to Martin, and we'll pick it up from there. See the VNAV pass come back into play. If we hit VNAV now, it will drop us a little bit, a little bit below flat one. But uh, that's fine. We can take flat five now. Sweet. Looking good. Right, let's get configured early. So, all the lights on. Don't need the taxi light on. We'll get the landing checklist up ready for the prompt. Speed brake can be armed. Landing gear we're waiting on, and so we're waiting on flaps too. So, 1200 feet above profile, not ready to descend just yet. Just keeping the speed at 180, which is what we asked it to do here, which is really cool. Everything is looking good, he says. I wish I could see more, but that's not happening anytime soon. Look at the mist, it's everywhere. It seems to be getting gradually worse as well. Come on, let me see one thing. If I can get, if I can get the pappies in sight, then life is good. I'm going to reset this down to, let's do a thousand feet. Minimum is just 520, but we'll do a thousand feet on VNAV, and that should be enough to be able to see something. Hopefully we'll descend with VNAV path, otherwise we'll have a bit of a problem. So I'm going to monitor that and make sure that if it doesn't, we're straight on the vertical speed. Cabin just was ready, if you heard that ding. 
range to go for us is what 13 miles so we're good There we go, starting to descend, descend even on Vina Path, excellent. Range 11 to go, still can't see anything though. Uh, why does he keep doing this weird micro stutter, can you see it? I mean the frame rate is never going to be great, but they shouldn't, it shouldn't stutter, it's weird. It's like it kind of loads something and then hangs and then loads it again. And then Finally, is it? Okay, so I think we'll take gear down. And then with that, we'll take flap 15. Radio altimeter. Good stuff. You can see one of the happy lights, just can't see any of the others. Well, 137, sorry, 139, so bring it all the way back to 149, like so, flat 20, and we can do all the flaps, flat 25, speed brakes armed, just waiting for the flaps to go green, and then that's a landing check that's complete, and we can concentrate on landing. See some of the scenery over there loading in. It doesn't look too bad actually, it's quite pleasant. Yeah, it looks nice. So it's just this mist is destroying us. And there's the green light landing checklist is completed. That can go away. Right, okay. Take the autopilot out. Like so. Set the mist approach altitude. And let's land. Nine knots from the left. Not a problem. Pappy's looking good. That stadium, though. Look at that stadium there. That's insane. What are these little... You see this blue thing there? I wonder what that is. It'd be nice to take a VFR flighter actually around this place. And see what it's all about. That blue bridge as well. Look at that there. Nice blue bridge. I should really be concentrating on landing this thing actually. It's all good though. Thousand feet to go. Stable. Landing.
50, 30, 20, 10. Buses. Eighty. Manual braking. Sixty. Reverses can come in. And we can vacate as planned at, I do believe, Kilo 4. Nice. Okay, so Alpha 16 apparently is where we need to go. I do want to follow me because I'm a massive noob and I don't often feature follow me's when I arrive at places anywhere really. Bring the speed brakes back in, turn the transponder off, get the lights until this follow me car arrives. Uh, strobes can come off and we can fire up the APU. Where is he? There he is over there. And I see the stand from here where he's going to take me. Alpha Pier. I don't know. We'll wait. We'll see what it says. I need to cancel that memo. There you go. Here he comes. We'll stop the clock. Like so. And we'll follow this guy. So we're going left here. Apparently we're going right here. You can see we've got indicators on the top of the car, so you can see where it's going. We're going right this way. And we're going left. Oh, I think I see the gate. It's over there. That one with all the GSX services. Left this way, I'm gonna run him over if he's not quick enough. Oh, you're going 11. There you go. It's in the corner over there somewhere. And now we're going right here. You know, I just noticed what's cool about the flight plan. It said exactly 7 hours and 23 minutes. And it took us 7 hours and 25, so for some reason I lost 2 minutes somewhere. I think I ran over the follow me car. Oh no, it's there. Cool. Oh, of course, we could turn the flight directors off too. We've got to do that. Okay, how do we park? There's the gate. But how do we get into it? Over here, I guess. Like straight on. Yeah, I guess. Are we gonna get a marshaller onto it or is he just gonna make us do it ourselves? Ah, here we go, let me see. And here we are. Stand Alpha 16. Quite sure where I meant to stop, but here we'll do and we can bang on the parking brake and then we said speed brake APU's on I think, yeah stock engine 2 and engine number 1 we can like and go off taxi lights chuck ourselves up ask GSX to deboard us uh, yeah, let's actually chuck ourselves up before I do anything else. Chuck's on. Everything else off. Get rid of the hydraulics. And we can turn the fuel pumps off. Packs can go off. Like that. And there we go. Welcome to Philly. So, here she is, our trusty steed. S sadly, the... Um, the jetways aren't stat uh, dynamic even, so you don't have a, a door to, or sorry, a, a air gate to bring the, the passengers off. But apparently Matt, the guy that's flying with me, oh, there he is, look at that. This is him landing. We saw him at Heathrow and now we see him at Philly. How cool. 
Let's hope he greases it. Although he's just pointed his nose towards the ground, so... Please, Flair, for the sake of your viewers. Yeah, it was okay. He redeemed himself. Nice. Speed breaks up. Reverses out. Decelerating like a champion. To be honest, the landing I made wasn't too great. I don't know what happened. I seemed to get blown off course at the, uh, at the last minute. But here he is. Here he is. <laughs> awesome. I love it when a plan comes together. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, if you did, let me know. And if you have any flight suggestions, as always, post in the comments below. They're always appreciated. But yeah, I'm done here after almost eight hours of flying. I think uh, it's time to go edit this and go out and get some fresh air. Okay, once again, thank you very much for the support. Appreciate it all. And until the next time, I shall catch you later. Au revoir.